A week ago, Kyle and I tied the knot, surrounded by the people we hold dear. The wedding unfolded just as we had hoped, with the presence of our loved ones turning our day into a beautiful celebration. Our close family and friends had gathered to witness our union, creating an atmosphere of warmth and happiness. It was a day filled with shared laughter, joyous embraces, and the simple pleasures of togetherness. Everything had gone perfectly except for one hiccup. My dumb stepmother tried to ruin my wedding. My parents split when I was a kid, but they've been great at co-parenting ever since, making sure I always had both of them in my life. These days, my mom's seeing a guy named Holt, and my dad's happily married to Gigi. Even though I was pretty young when my dad tied the knot again, I never felt weird about it. In fact, I was pretty stoked that our family was getting bigger. Gigi has a daughter from her previous marriage called Naomi, just a year older than me. When dad introduced me to her, I thought we could become good friends. But turns out Naomi was only sweet when dad was around. Behind his back, she used to pick on me quite a bit. I'm not one to back down easily, so when Naomi teased me about my hair or clothes, I would give it right back to her. Our arguments sometimes escalated like any typical kid and occasionally turned physical. Gigi would rush in at the sound of Naomi's tears, always quick to separate us. Naomi cleverly pretended that I had slapped or punched her, managing to turn Gigi against me. No matter how hard I tried to explain that Naomi was the instigator, Gigi never bought it. She would then wait for my dad to return home to unload her complaints about me. My dad, thankfully, never took sides and would just be upset that Naomi and I fought. As the years passed, our relationship continued to sour. Mom started to notice how Gigi and Naomi treated me when dad wasn't around. So she talked to him about it. Since then, dad started taking me out on these weekend outings, just the two of us, creating a space where we could spend quality time together. I have grown to cherish these moments, appreciating the undivided attention and the chance to share all my thoughts and concerns with him. When Gigi discovered this, she wasn't pleased at all. She insisted that dad should include Naomi in these outings, but fortunately, dad stood his ground and refused. Before tying the knot with Kyle, we spent six wonderful years dating. During that time, I introduced him to my parents during numerous family dinners. On one occasion, amidst the cheerful atmosphere while we shared stories and enjoyed the meal, Gigi suddenly stopped eating and looked at both of us intently. I looked at her curiously and she then boldly remarked that Kyle was too good looking for me. The room fell into an uncomfortable silence, prompting my mother to inquire angry about her remark. Gigi attempted to brush it off as a compliment to Kyle. However, Kyle was just as upset and stood up for me, expressing that she should not talk about us this way. He continued to tell her how fortunate he felt to be with someone like me. His words brought a smile to my face, and I felt grateful for his support. The dinner continued after that, though Gigi's failed attempt at humor lingered like an uninvited guest. Returning home, her words continued to sting, lingering in my mind. It was undeniable that Kyle, standing at six feet two, with a well-built physique from regular workouts, fit conventional standards of attractiveness. In contrast, I stood at five feet five and carried a bit of weight. Surprisingly, Kyle had never made me feel insecure about my body, our love life was healthy, and he never uttered a word about my weight. Despite this, my self-esteem sometimes took a hit, particularly when I noticed other girls admiring him. Gigi's comment that night hit close to home, yet the knowledge that Kyle had immediately defended our relationship reassured me.
Over the years, Gigi continued to make subtle yet hurtful comments about my appearance whenever we were left alone during my dinners with my dad at his place. Whether it was a remark on my choice of clothing or a sly comment about how I should consider hitting the gym more often, her words chipped away at my confidence. These comments, often disguised as concern or casual observations, created a persistent undercurrent of self-doubt. Kyle, whenever he overheard her remarks, always defended me. Besides Gigi, Naomi wasn't exactly friendly towards me either. She often acted overly familiar with Kyle, getting uncomfortably close and making him uneasy. Despite Kyle expressing his discomfort to her multiple times, she continued to behave inappropriately with him whenever she got a chance. On one Thanksgiving celebration with family and friends during a truth and dare game, someone dared Naomi to sit on the person she liked the most. We assumed she would sit on her mother's lap, but she boldly walked up to my fiancé, pointing at him to indicate that she intended to sit on him. Kyle promptly stood up, refusing her request. I watched Naomi's face turn red in embarrassment as she knew everyone was watching her get turned down. I couldn't help but burst into laughter, realizing that Kyle would never reciprocate her interest, no matter how desperately she wanted it. During the remainder of the Thanksgiving gathering, Naomi seemed visibly embarrassed by the ordeal. The atmosphere became a bit awkward, but Kyle and I brushed it off and continued enjoying the celebration with our friends and family. Now, coming on to the story as our big day drew nearer, I was filled with excitement and joy. Kyle and I were head over heels in love, eagerly anticipating the journey ahead. Despite my reservations, I extended an invitation to Gigi and Naomi at my dad's insistence. He assured me that if they caused any trouble, he would swiftly show them the door. Reluctantly, I agreed to my dad's request, hoping for the best on our special day. On the day we were set to exchange our vows, the atmosphere was electric with anticipation, surrounded by the love of friends and family. I was in the midst of getting ready, my dress adorned and my hair gracefully braided, My bridesmaids were all set to accompany down the aisle. Yet, just when everything seemed perfect, Gigi barged into my dressing room, asking if she could talk to me privately. My mother told her to leave me alone as I needed time to be ready before it was time to walk down the aisle. Despite my efforts to maintain composure, Gigi persisted, emphasizing that she needed to share something crucial before what she perceived as a huge mistake. Growing weary of her persistence, I requested everyone to give us some privacy. My mother looked at me with a raised eyebrow and I assured her that I would handle the situation with Gigi swiftly so that I could return to the preparations. My mother nodded understandingly and walked out, leaving Gigi and me alone. I turned to Gigi and told her she had two minutes to explain herself before I kicked her out of the room. Gigi, with an air of full concern, conspiratorially pulled out multiple pictures and put them down on the table. She claimed that these pictures would change everything I knew about Kyle. I was shocked. I glanced at the photos only to see Tom innocently chatting with a distant cousin at a restaurant. Gigi told me that she had found Kyle talking to this mysterious woman while she was out for dinner last week and had snapped these pictures so that I wouldn't be surprised later to find out about his alleged infidelity. With an air of false concern, she urged me to consider the wedding, making it sound like I was about to make a huge mistake. I calmly took a deep breath and decided to play along with her games, determined not to let her turn my wedding day into a nightmare. I opened the door and requested my mother to bring Kyle and my dad to my room. Gigi, under the impression that I was about to confront Kyle regarding his alleged affair, reassured me that everything would be fine once I confronted him. Little did she know a different kind of confrontation awaited her. Kyle was a bit hesitant to enter my room as he didn't want to see me in my wedding dress, but at this point I didn't care about traditions anymore and urged him to come inside. 
As Kyle stepped into the room, Gigi wore a triumphant smirk, anticipating a confrontation. I gestured towards the pictures she had spread across the table and calmly asked Kyle if he could explain the images. He looked at the photos, a puzzled expression on his face. I could see Gigi reveling in the drama she had orchestrated. Kyle, maintaining his composure, explained that the woman in the pictures was his cousin whom he had met for dinner last week. He clarified the context of each image, pointing out the family resemblance and the innocent nature of their conversation. Gigi's confident demeanor began to waver as Kyle's explanation dismantled her scheme. My dad, who had joined us by then, listened intently. I could sense the frustration building in Gigi as her plan unraveled. In a moment of triumph, I turned to Gigi, revealing that the woman in the photos was indeed Kyle's distant cousin, who I had in fact met at one of his family events. I couldn't help but smirk as her face faltered, realizing that her attempt to ruin my wedding had failed miserably. My dad, who was listening to us silently, caught onto Gigi's defeat. He looked at me and asked if Gigi was the one who brought those pictures to me. I nodded and explained how she disrupted my wedding preparations, attempting to claim that the man I was about to marry was having an affair. My dad, visibly upset, turned to Gigi and questioned why she would even consider pulling such a stunt. Gigi looked defeated and embarrassed at this point. My dad sternly demanded an explanation and that's when she revealed her true intentions. Gigi claimed that I didn't deserve to marry someone like Kyle and claimed that we would never be happy together. She asserted that her daughter Naomi had fallen in love with Kyle over the years. We stared at her in disbelief as Gigi went on, insisting that Naomi, being more beautiful than me, deserved to marry Kyle instead. She went on to explain that over the years, she had attempted to plant negative thoughts about our relationship in our minds, but it had not worked. But when she saw Kyle with a mysterious woman, she saw an opportunity to finally break us up. At this point, we all stared at her as if she had completely lost her mind. My mom, already upset with her behavior, told my dad that this was unacceptable. In turn, my dad immediately agreed and sternly asked Gigi to leave immediately. She tried to protest, but my mother dragged her out of the room. Naomi stormed into the room demanding answers as she sensed something was wrong. My dad then explained the deceitful actions of Gigi. Hearing this, Naomi then turned her attention to me and without a moment's pause started yelling at me. She launched into a barrage of accusations, blaming me for tearing her family apart. I remained calm, trying to explain the gravity of Gigi's deceit, but Naomi's anger only kept intensifying. Naomi sneered, saying my relationship with Kyle was a sham, built on lies, and her mother was right to try to break it off. When I tried to defend our love, she laughed it off, telling me that I was deluding myself. She reiterated that she deserved to be with Kyle and he was only with me because he thought I was richer than her, given that I had a fancier job. At this point, Kyle, unable to contain his anger any longer, stepped in. He sternly confronted her, setting the record straight. His words carried a mix of disappointment and firmness as he rebuffed Naomi's advances. In no uncertain terms, he conveyed that he would never be interested in her and he thought he had made it very clear to her publicly several times. He pointed out that we were getting married and she and Gigi had no right to spoil our day. Naomi, now faced with opposition, hesitated for a moment, realizing that her attempts to sow discord were falling flat. Throughout this confrontation, my dad tried to act as a mediator, attempting to bring reason into the chaotic exchange. Despite Naomi's relentless accusations, he stood by my side and eventually realizing that Naomi was not going to give up, he asked her to leave our wedding with Gigi. Naomi appeared taken aback by this unexpected turn and a sense of satisfaction spread across my face. After their embarrassing exit, I turned to Kyle 
a mix of frustration and amusement on my face. We shared a knowing glance and he burst into laughter, looking at the innocent images that Gigi had twisted into something so devious. We were grateful that our relationship had weathered this bizarre storm. The wedding continued, unaffected by Gigi's ill-conceived interference. Our vows were exchanged and the celebration with our loved ones resumed. It turned out to be a day filled with joy and laughter, just as we had dreamed about. As the festivities continued, I couldn't help but feel a sense of satisfaction. Gigi's plan had backfired and her attempt to cast doubt on my relationship had only strengthened the bond between Kyle and me. Kyle and I had a wonderful honeymoon. Since returning back home, I have been hearing from my dad that all is not well between Gigi and him. She thinks we were too harsh in kicking her out and blames me for embarrassing her in front of Kyle. Mom and Dad, Naomi too, has sent me several messages claiming I am sick for embarrassing her mother and continues to warn me that I would never be happy with Kyle. This is starting to get to me. I would like to know AITA for exposing my dumb stepmother's allegations and then kicking her out of my wedding. Update 1. It's been a few days since my last update. Apparently, one of my bridesmaids, who was my cousin, Fiona, had overheard the entire conversation with Gigi and Naomi that day. She couldn't keep the shocking revelation to herself. Disturbed by what she had heard during the confrontation with Gigi and Naomi, she felt compelled to share it with a few close family members. As the news slowly spread, the collective disapproval grew, creating a ripple effect that reached the ears of other relatives. The story of their disruptive actions during my wedding became a topic of conversation within the family, triggering a cascade of disapproval and disappointment. All of our relatives were as shocked as we were when we first found out about their deceitful scheme. The unanimous sentiment within the family is one of agreement that what Gigi and Naomi did to me was undeniably wrong. Gossip and shared indignation worked swiftly, causing the family to collectively shun Gigi and Naomi. I received several concerned phone calls and messages from relatives who were previously unaware of the disruptive events that unfolded during my wedding. Today, I invited my dad over for dinner as I hadn't seen him since the wedding. When he arrived, I noticed how visibly different he looked, not like his usual self. During our meal, my dad opened up about how Gigi and Naomi were making his life increasingly difficult. They were insistent that I owed them an apology for kicking them out. Kyle and I were shocked listening to how entitled they felt to get an apology from me when they had tried to ruin my wedding in the first place. It was a surreal moment trying to comprehend their audacity. My dad, sensing my frustration, expressed he was equally disappointed in their behavior. He assured me that I owed no apology for protecting my wedding against their disruptive actions. It worried me to see Dad dealing with all the toxicity, so I shared my concerns with him. We both acknowledged that the constant conflicts with Gigi were taking a toll on his mental well-being. Dad also went on to reveal that Naomi was threatening us with legal actions, claiming emotional distress from the wedding incident. It sounded absurd, and I couldn't help but laugh. But beneath the laughter, I recognized the strain their demands were putting on our family dynamics. I plan on confronting Naomi and Gigi regarding this and hopefully resolve it once and for all. Update 2 Today, I met up with Naomi and Gigi as I had mentioned earlier. I invited them both out for lunch at a cafe instead of my place. Kyle wanted to go with me, but I insisted that this was something I needed to do on my own. As we sat down, the air was thick with tension. I calmly expressed my concerns about their actions during the wedding, emphasizing the hurt they caused. Gigi, however, remained defensive, insisting that she stood by everything she had told me. She insisted that she was acting in Naomi's best interest. This really pissed me off and I retorted that Kyle was my husband now and I won't stand by their persistent disregard for our relationship. I pointed out that at the very least she could have apologized to me for how she interrupted my wedding day. 
The conversation quickly escalated into a heated exchange. Gigi, with a stubborn demeanor, refused to admit any wrongdoing, claiming she was only looking out for her daughter. Naomi, on the other hand, started accusing me of being insecure, suggesting that my reaction was fueled by my jealousy of her. This made me laugh in her face. I couldn't help but laugh, clarifying that I had never seen her as a competition. I reminded her of my academic achievements, securing a scholarship, graduating from my dream college and landing a job that provided financial comfort. I expressed my frustration, emphasizing that unlike her, I had a partner who genuinely loved me and I didn't need to go behind someone's back to try and steal them. Naomi's face twisted with anger as she retorted, spewing hurtful words in my direction. She claimed that I was living in a fantasy. If I thought Kyle truly loved me, she insinuated that he was only with me out of pity or convenience and that he deserved someone better. Her words were venomous, but I tried to maintain composure, refusing to let her undermine my relationship or tarnish my happiness. Gigi, standing beside Naomi, couldn't resist adding her own bitter remarks. With a condescending tone, she questioned my ability to handle a marriage, implying that I was naive and inexperienced. If I remember her exact words were, Honey, I don't know what Kyle sees in you. I mean, come on, a man like him with a woman like you? It's laughable. You might have a good job, but can you really keep a man like him satisfied? In the face of Gigi's spiteful remarks, I took a moment to collect myself, suppressing the anger bubbling within. I then responded that her opinions about my marriage were irrelevant. Kyle and I shared a deep connection that went beyond her shallow judgments, so if she couldn't respect that, then it's best for us to part ways. Naomi, fueled by a mix of anger and frustration, also accused me of being selfish, claiming that I had ruined her chance at happiness by marrying Kyle. As the argument intensified, Gigi played the victim card, asserting that my decision to kick them out was an overreaction. Despite my attempts to reason with them, it became evident that reasoning with them was futile. Their refusal to acknowledge their mistakes and the depth of their actions only fueled the intensity of our argument. It became clear that maintaining a relationship with individuals so hell-bent on causing harm was untenable. The meeting ended on a sour note with unresolved issues and lingering tension, leaving me with the realization that some conflicts are irreparable. Returning home, the weight of the confrontation pressed heavily on my shoulders and I broke down in tears. The emotional toll of the encounter left me drained both physically and mentally. It wasn't just about Gigi and Naomi's disdain for me, it was also the understanding that my father was likely enduring a similar, if not more intense, emotional storm at his end. I have since talked with my mother and made the difficult decision to permanently cut ties with Gigi and Naomi. She was shocked hearing how much they had hurt me and wanted to go off on them. I stopped her emphasizing that they weren't worth our time or emotional energy. The toxicity they brought into our lives was not worth the emotional toll it took. I am choosing to prioritize my mental well-being and the stability of my marriage over their relentless negativity. It is a painful but necessary step towards a healthier, happier life. Update 3. Thank you for everyone's comments since my post. It's been two months since my last update and a lot has changed in our lives. Firstly, my dad and Gigi are now separated. As many foresaw, Gigi's refusal to acknowledge her mistakes coupled with constant pressure and conflicts took a toll on my dad. Consequently, he moved out of their place and is consulting with lawyers to initiate divorce proceedings. After dad blocked her on all fronts, Gigi attempted to reach out to me, but I also blocked her, prompting her to call Kyle. He didn't pick up her calls knowingly, so she sent a long message to him about how her daughter Naomi was heartbroken. Gigi blamed me for orchestrating their separation and accused me of turning my dad against her. 
Kyle and I read the message together, shaking our heads at her attempt to shift blame. We didn't bother to reply to her and Kyle blocked her as well. As for my dad, since his separation, he seems lighter and happier. He's gradually finding peace away from the constant turmoil with Gigi and Naomi. Kyle and I have been there to support him through this challenging time. We have encouraged him to focus on his well-being and pursue activities that bring him joy. Despite the difficulties, it's heartening to see my dad rediscovering himself and embracing the freedom from toxic dynamics. A month ago, I went on a vacation with my mom to spend some time with her. Since the incident, she has been really worried about me and fuming at how they treated me. This beach vacation was much needed as we strolled along the serene beaches, reminiscing about our joyful memories and discussing plans for the future. In the quiet moments of our vacation, surrounded by the comforting presence of my mother, I felt so much peace. It was a therapeutic reset, allowing us to strengthen our bond and cherish the moments of peace away from the chaos that Gigi and Naomi had brought into our lives. As I'm writing this, I find myself feeling overwhelmed with gratitude for the love Kyle and I share. His unwavering support and understanding have been the pillars that have held me up through the storms. If I didn't have a supportive and loyal partner like him, I don't know what I would do. As I reflect on our journey, I am immensely thankful for the joy he brings, the laughter we share, and the strength he provides in the face of challenges. Looking ahead, I look forward to embracing the prospect of spending the rest of my life with Kyle. Stay tuned for more stories from Argo Relationships.